Hello, everybody. Hello. Tonight is the night that Joy Walker is back with you in the midnight hour. I am so excited about being here. I want you to know a couple things tonight, that the joy of the Lord is your strength. And I want you to know that all you have to do is count everything that's going on in your life as joy. Just count it all joy. I talked about that last night. And I want you to know another thing, that only in God, only in God, that's where you're going to find the fullness of joy. What a great place to be tonight in the midnight hour with the word, with the word from the Lord and the word from the joy walker. I'm so excited because it's going to be a night of inspiration. It's going to be a night of encouragement as you walk with the Lord and as you walk with the joy walker tonight. God is so faithful. He's just so faithful, and I know you all know that, and I know you're all excited about what he's been doing through your week, and I want you to know that when you can get to a place, like I said a couple times before, you got to know that today was better than yesterday, and our tomorrow is going to even be greater. Amen. Remember what the Word of God says. Like I said, count it all joy. Count it all joy. Count it all joy. And just keep walking in the joy of the Lord. I like to thank God tonight. And I just had a really special um, thankfulness in my heart and a special prayer just for the founders of Columbus Black, which is Kevin Lloyd and his wife, Sherry Lloyd. And I was thinking, you know, and I was just telling the Lord, you know, after hearing a lot of remarks from a lot of you regarding in the midnight hour. And what came to my heart was, is that, it's just amazing to just see how God's people, and when I say God's people, we're all God's people, but I'm speaking in particular about Kevin and his wife, Sherry, and what I mean by that is because they, they, they went before the Lord, and they were seeking the Lord for directions on which way that they thought that the Lord wanted them to go, and I'm going to tell you, he imparted the vision of the midnight hour in both of them. And the, how the, he, the God desired for them to have a desire for his people. And I'm telling you, they just grabbed it and they just ran with it. And they believed God for such a miracle. And I'm telling you, all of you are going to experience great miracles. If you just continue to watch Columbus Black, I mean, go on social media, see what they have for you. And I'm talking, like I told you last week. There are so, so many blessings for you and for your family. I mean, just tune in. Go on to Columbus Black social media. They got it on Facebook. They have, um, uh, what's the, oh, YouTube. They're on YouTube Live. I mean, all kinds of social media platforms. And I just give God the praise for what they're doing, you know, for his people. I'm here because of them. I'm here because of God. I'm here because of their love for not just me, but for all of you in the late midnight hour. So thank you, Columbus Black, for what you're doing. And make sure that you always remember that God has a blessing for all of us. Tonight in the midnight hour, I want to share a secret with you. A secret. So I need you to listen very, very, clear, very, very closely. I need you to know that God has shared a secret with the Joy Walker tonight. And guess what? It wasn't just for me. He said, the secret is for all of you. And I'm usually pretty good at holding secrets, but I got so much joy going on within me right now because I am excited. I'm so excited about what God wants you to know tonight in the midnight hour. So if you listen very closely, shh, don't tell anybody that I'm telling you the secret that God has given the joy walker for you. Shh, shh. Well, it started off in Psalm 66 in the Bible, in verse 1. Listen very carefully. It says, make a joyful noise unto God, all ye lands. Make a joyful noise. That means get excited. That means just really, really get excited about whatever it is that you may be walking through. He wants you to get excited about him. Because in verse 2, it tells you, sing forth the honor of his name. 
and make his name glorious. So whose name am I talking about? I am talking about our Lord and Savior, who is the joy in your life, who is the hope in your life, who is giving you the peace that you desire. I'm telling you, you have to get excited about that secret because the secret is that if you make a joyful noise unto the Lord, which is our father up in heaven, just watch all the blessings that are going to just start coming down. They're going to just start trickling down and just consuming you so much. You can't help but run around with so much joy. And you must continue to make the noise, a joyful noise. You have to continue to be excited about what God is doing in your life. And it says, let your praises be known unto him. So what is the Joy Walker saying tonight? I want you to just take a minute and just think about how far God has brought you. Not just today, but when you look back on where your life was, let's just say maybe a month ago, we can even say a year ago, we can say two or three years ago, but I want you to look back on where God has brought you from and how you have been able to continue to keep walking and walking and walking and you never stop. You don't even look back. You just get excited about the joy that he's giving you. And like I said earlier, you got to continue. Just count it all joy. Count it all joy. Count it all joy. Count it all joy. Because we all know that as we begin to walk through th things, God is molding us into an image of him. He desires for us to have nothing but greatness. And part of his greatness is our joy. It's our peace. It's our love, it's our happiness, and it is our faith. But in order to have those things, you have got to count it all joy, and you got to make a joyful noise unto the Lord. And some of you might be saying, Joy Walker, what are you talking about, a joyful noise? What I mean by that is, when you get a moment, say hallelujah. When you get another moment, say, Lord, I thank you. When you get some more time, just say, God, I give you all the glory. Because that's what I'm. he desires for you to do. He wants you to make a joyful noise, regardless of whatever you are walking through. It does not matter. It doesn't matter what it is. You just got to stay excited and know that God is going to continue to bring you through. And there's something else I want you to know. Even when you are having a bad day, a bad day, and don't get me wrong, we all have our bad days, but it's just your mindset on how you handle your bad day. So tonight in the midnight hour, what I'm saying to you is you got to change your mindset. You got to believe that no matter how or whatever it is that I'm going through, that I know that God has given me the joy and I can endure and I can keep on going. I can keep on walking. And like I said, make a joyful noise. Get excited. Don't let the enemy have you looking one way and looking like you're sucking on a lemon when we already know that it is already done in Jesus' name, that he has us. The walk will be easy. And what I mean by that, as you're walking with the Lord and as you're walking with the joy walker and as you continue to walk on this walk, knowing that things are going to get better, that the walk is going to get easier. And you know why? Because every step that you take, you are not walking alone. That is great news. Just that by itself, just to know that we're not walking alone and that God is walking with us. And even when you get to the place sometimes and you feel like said, I just can't take another step, Lord. I just can't do this, Lord. It's just too much for me, Lord. That's when he will let you know his spirit will just prick your heart and it'll just let you know, I'm still with you, my daughter. I'm still with you, my son. And I am pulling you every step of the way. You don't have to be discouraged. All you have to do is walk in his joy and know what you know and don't worry. Don't get concerned. Just keep on believing and keep on walking with the Lord. The walk will be easy if you call out his name. See, sometimes we get to a place and we start walking and going through things and we really forget to call on the person that we know that's going to bring us through. And all he wants you to do is just call out his name. Jesus, just say it. It's so easy. Jesus, 
Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And I'm telling you, you'll be able to keep on walking. You won't be discouraged. You'll have your mind in a place of peace. And I'm telling you, everything is going to continue to work out for your good. Another thing I want to share with you tonight is that the walk is easy if, see, I keep starting off by saying the walk is easy. And I'm letting you know what you got to do to make your walk easy with the Lord. And in order for your walk to be easy, you have to realize that he is your source. The Lord is your source. And I'm going to just keep it real. I'm keeping it 100. It's not man. It's not alcohol. It's not the drugs. It's not your finances. It's not your accomplishments that are your source. But it is the Lord that is your source. And I'm going to let you know. The biggie, the big one, is truly not your money that gives you the joy. And don't get me wrong, you can have money and it can give you some joy. But I'm talking about that unspeakable joy. I'm talking about that joy that's so deep down inside of you, that's so deep rooted. I mean, things could come your way like a rushing wind. And I'm telling you, you won't even move because you'll be sitting there saying, the joy of the Lord is my strength and I'm going to keep on walking. I'm going to keep on standing on his word. And I know without a shadow of a doubt that God has me. Wow, that is exciting. That's exciting for me too. All you young people out there, I'm trying to tell you, young, old, middle-aged, it don't even matter. You better begin to grab hold of his joy and hold on to it with everything that you got. Because I'm telling you, the Lord is your source. And another thing I want to say to you tonight is that you got to begin to trust God in your walk. Trust him. I'm going to tell you, this weekend was a really interesting weekend for me. I kept saying to myself, there was one distraction after another. The next thing I knew, there was a challenge. The next thing I knew, it was just snowballing, snowballing, one thing after another. Then I had to stop and say, okay, wait a minute now. What's going on here? Aren't I the joy walker? Aren't I walking with the Lord? Don't I believe in his promises? Don't I know that he's carrying me every step of the way? Don't I believe that his word is true and his promises are true? And it's like sometimes you got to do a self-reflection. You got to begin to just tell yourself, speak it over yourself. Start minister to yourself that you know that God has you because that is what's going to carry you. And after I did that, I sat back and I said, hmm, okay, devil, I know what you're trying to do. You are not going to steal my joy. And that's what I want all of you to know tonight. Do not allow the enemy or people or circumstances or your finances or afflictions, anything like that, steal your joy. Because that's what the enemy wants to do. But I'm telling you, if you just continue to believe and trust and speak his word over your life, things are going to work out for the best. And this I know. And you got to keep walking and keep a praise in your heart. You can tell when I come on in the midnight hour, I'm not sitting there going, woe is me. This happened to me. Oh, my, oh no. Because when you do that, you give the enemy a foothold. We're not trying to give him any, any room to glorify himself. Do y'all hear what the joy walker is telling You have to get to a place where you're not going to enemy dictate how you're going to have joy, happiness, love for God, faith, trust. I'm telling you, all of these great things that he does for you. You got to let the enemy know you don't have any room here. And that's why it's so important. Like I say, keep walking in your joy. I shared the other day, I was telling some, um, some of my friends and I was talking to my husband about this. And I mentioned it the other day. He said, where'd you get those new shoes at that you had on? I have some new tennis shoes on. And I want y'all to know something. I said, honey, I had to go get me some new tennis shoes because I've been joy walking so hard. I didn't buy rare. I'm telling y'all, I have worn off the soles of my shoes because I'm really serious about this thing. 
And I'm telling you, get serious about your joy. Get serious about your walk for the Lord. Get serious about getting your friends. I don't care if it's your boo, your husband, your girlfriend, your kids. I mean, it don't matter who it is or whatever walk they're on. Try to get them to walk with you in a walk in the joy of the Lord. So that's why I had to get me some new shoes. I don't know. You better check your soles underneath your shoe. And then you better check your soul within your heart because you want to make sure you're walking for the Lord. And you want to make sure that you got all the joy, all the joy, all the joy that you have enough for yourself and that you could just sprinkle all over everybody else because everybody deserves to have God's joy. And I want you to know that if you continue, just continue. Just continue to stay in your word. And I want you to get a song in your heart. I'm telling you, I love praise and worship music. But what I'm saying to you, you young people, middle-aged, old, like I said, it don't matter what walk you on, get you a song. Get you a song. And I'm telling you, a song that will minister to your heart, that will restore your joy, that will help you to keep your joy and know that God is walking with you. Don't never doubt him. Don't never give up. Just know that he's walking with you. And I know that we've really been going through a lot of changes and challenges in our lives. And some of us are feeling like so down in our spirit. But I'm here tonight to let you know in the midnight hour, joy is going to come in the morning. Look to the hills which come to your joy. And your joy is coming from the Lord. But first of all, you got to be able to receive it. You got to receive it. And you got to believe it. You got to receive it and you got to believe that your joy is with you and your joy is in the Lord. And right now, I want to just take a minute to let all of you know, I thank you for the prayer requests that have been coming through. And I want you to know that I'm going to continue to pray. I'm going to continue to believe God for miracles in your life because I know he wants nothing but greatness for you. And I believe if you believe that God will see you through it's going to happen in jesus name right now i like to take a moment to say thank you again to columbus black for allowing us to be on tonight in the midnight hour i'm telling you tell your friends if you want to be encouraged hey look it's a better that I ever heard of, who, who would ever thought in the midnight hour you could come on and be able to get some inspiration and some excitement. So tell your friends, join us every Tuesday night, 12 midnight, we will be here with Columbus Black, live on Facebook, on YouTube, all the social media platforms, we are out there for you. God bless you. And I'm gonna take a minute because I want y'all to know that God loves you and I am praying for you. So if you could just take and bow your head just for a minute, I love to say a prayer so that you could continue to walk out this walk called joy, love, hope, and happiness and faith in Jesus. Father God, we thank you right now, Lord God, for an opportunity, Father God, to be able to come before you, Lord God, to lift you up, God. And like you said in your word, God, give praises unto you. I ask you right now, Father, that you touch each and every one, Father God, that are watching this, this platform tonight, God. And I pray, God, for their families. I ask you right now, God, to work out a miracle in their lives right now, God. We thank you, Lord God, for all that you're doing, how you continue, God, to just bless and keep them, God, in a place of love and happiness and joy in you, Lord God. We pray, Father God, that even the word that was sent out tonight, Lord God, over the airways, Father God. Oh God, that there would be life-changing words that would shift and shake up their spirits, Father God. Oh God, no longer would they walk with a spirit of just sadness, God, and feeling like they're all alone, God. We pray right now, Father God, oh God, that you will stir up, God, the joy in them, stir up the love in them, Father God. Oh God, and stir up their relationship with you, Father. We just give you all the glory for who you are and all that you continue to do in their lives. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. So next Tuesday, make sure you tell all your friends to come on board at 12 o'clock midnight and just hear what the Joy Walker has to say. We love you. 
We love you and I love you and continue to walk it out. Don't give up. Just keep walking it out. Walk it out. And like I said, if you have to, go get you some more shoes. Keep walking for those souls and let them know God that God loves them and that all they have to do is just believe. Thank you for joining us tonight. Amen. See you next week.